Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habitifillah. A question was asked from one of our beloved brothers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us in him, cure us and cure him, protect us and protect him and preserve us and preserve him. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And may Allah bless us all with ilm al-nafiyah wa rizqan tayyib wa amal al Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. So the question was asked about Talib al Ilm and about whether it is uh, more beneficial to seek knowledge for someone in the West online through a, an established online university like Islamic, uh, the Islamic online university or the uh, Medina. Uh, online university uh, out of the UK or one of the other uh, beneficial places to seek knowledge or the old-fashioned way of seeking uh, of learning Arabic while at the same time studying English books in Akida so this is a, a fantastic question and in fact really they don't ta'arud meaning they don't really contradict one another However, I do realize that it is putting a lot of energy and resources. So what I would say is, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, that a person has to decide what they're able to commit to, what they're able to do. There's no doubt that learning the Arabic language and gaining those skills and those tools so you can have direct access, bi idnillah, to the ulama or at least benefit from their books and their tapes then this is khair azim, and this is a beautiful door to open and opens up a world of knowledge for the person who pursues knowledge uh, in that way. And that is from one of the foundation, foundational ways or fundamental ways of seeking knowledge. And that would be to gain the Arabic language and benefit from the divine text uh, in the language, the uh, Arabic language. And so that should be a goal anyway. However, if a person has the ability and they can do both, they can benefit from those programs that teach you uh, your religion, teach you the, the usul, the foundations of your religion and fiqh, uh, you know, and, and, and all the sciences and aqidah, and other sciences, then this is fantastic. So they don't have to uh, be in opposition to one another or necessarily contradict one another, but I think it's a matter of time management. So a, a person needs to figure out what time and what type of resources that they have uh, in order to do so. So I would say the person who lives in the West who doesn't foresee that they'll be able to go abroad and study uh, that they could join one of those programs. And many of those programs are beginning to have Arabic programs. There are many online Arabic programs. There's brothers who teach it, and there's things that are free already on YouTube. <clears throat> and I would advise using those uh, resources. And so um, that is one uh, avenue. So they don't have to contradict. I would say a gem, the khair, is be between doing both, if one is able to do so. If not learning your religion, and then pursuing the Arabic language uh, is, is another method of doing so. So I, I, I really can't say that one is better than the other if it's going to, if you're just going to spend all your time learning Arabic and you're not uh, learning the fundamentals of your religion. So I'd say there's always a balance that needs to be uh, considered and a balanced approach, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam ala Muhammad.